Alrighty, folks, welcome back to another gorgeous day in County Line. And yes, we did get the go ahead from Wifey. She was quite enthused with the opportunity that we have here in County Line. There's there's the old pickup truck. We still got it. Um, I brought it back to the dealer, and they they just were kind of drop jawed with the amount of damage that I did to it. And oh, you know, a couple hours of time, but. Uh, I told them to fix it up and I'll buy the thing and, and uh, they, they were all right with that. I'm just happy I'm in this thing and not that one. Four flat tires. Apparently that guy made somebody a little angry. So we're going to head back to the farm now. Um, Doughboy has already been here for a little while now. And... Uh, they have been working on getting all kinds of things ready for us. I'm not exactly 100% sure on what all he's got set up, but regardless, we're going to find out. There's a big little bump coming out of the dealership. So we'll take a cruise down to the farm, and, and uh, I'm really excited to get some work done, finally. Uh, hopefully everything's set up, good to roll. We'll see what Doughboy's got in store for us. This is definitely a different territory than what we're used to playing on old streams. But... At the same time, I think this is going to be a really good opportunity for the family. And that's the main thing. Now, if I remember correctly, I need to take a run down this here dirt road. And that should be the farm straight ahead. So we've gotten, we got to talking to Mr. Smith. Everything is finalized now I mean this place is as ours as it can be so see if we can find them Looks like uh, contractors got some new flags put in for us. Yeah, nothing wrong with a little bit of a little pride there. Well, that's uh, garage door open there. I wonder if per chance he might be in there. Hey, rubber burner! Glad to see you finally made it. Oh, well, I'm I'm glad I finally got here. Uh, another long flight, but hey, we're here. Well, I see by the license plate on the truck. I guess you bought the Ford, huh? Well, they didn't really leave me much choice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, I mean, you didn't fix my truck yet either, by the way. Yeah, we'll we'll deal with that at another point in time. I <laughs> gotcha. Well, the contractors are done. Uh, I took delivery of most of our equipment that we ordered, uh, and uh, I left you some uh, fresh SOS in there on the stove because I figured you didn't have breakfast yet, but uh, it was pretty good. Um, it's in there on the stove. Still waiting for you to stock the fridge, but I did my part. I brought the beef. The, free the freezer <laughs> stocked. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see how it is. But uh, you want to do a quick walk around? We can. I can show you what we got going on so far. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really excited to see uh, see what you got going on, and, and I'm ready to get to work. So let's take a let's take a little tour and and show me what we got. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, let's do that. Give you a quick walk around here first. If you want to follow me in here. Yeah, absolutely. Brought my. Uh, we got the shop set up here. Um, brought the Kenworth in. Uh, the Peterbilt heavy haul that I was going to bring over here to County Line needs a little bit of work, so 
I had to bring this in and add a little bit to it so we can haul our equipment up. There's some of our equipment still at the shop waiting to be brought up, so I yeah. think that's going to be my project for today. Okay. Um, of course, your stagger made your stagger made it. Beautiful, love it. That's the new. My, that's the new dirt dudes far, eh? What's that? Yeah, yeah. That's your new dudes far that you wanted to check out. Yeah, I like so, that. So it's here for you to give a trial. Um, paperwork signed, um, but again, you got 30 days to decide whether you like it or not. So. Yep. Okay. I got my John Deere's here, of course. Yeah, go figure. So, figured this shed would work good for it. Yeah, absolutely. We got the uh, that old fuel tank. We got rid of that, and it, we, it was a good choice, man. There was about a quarter of a tank left in that, and that fuel just was wrong. So, yeah, we got our fuel tank here now. Uh, still waiting on a delivery. Uh, it's empty, so okay. we got the fuel that's in the equipment. We got to get a delivery and a diesel. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll go over here real quick. Oh, we got our flags up. Yeah, I did notice those on the way in. Figured that looked like a good place to any to put them. Yeah, for sure. This shed's a little empty right now because some of the equipment um, is still down at the shop, but we did get take delivery of our sprayer. Yep. So with this road sprayer, it should uh, open the door for us to make some money spraying some fields for other farmers too. Yep. Um... Really, there's only a couple other things here on the main farm. Uh, we got our storage here, pressure washer, of course. Yeah. Storage for our water or liquid fertilizer and um, oh, I had to get rid of the old. Uh, they brought us a new propane tank for the heat in the office. Okay. They discovered a small leak. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah. Got rid of the old uh, silos, and we made a pretty good penny on that. Oh honestly. yeah, okay. Uh, scrap metal. Yep. Um, got these bins in place now with the augers, so that should work out pretty good for what we want to do. Yep. Put this shed up for the trucking. This is what I was able to bring down from my fleet. Got us a couple dumps for manure and that type of thing. Got us a couple grain tra trailers, livestock. We got a water trailer back there. Beautiful. Flat bed for hay and a low boy for hauling equipment. Yep. Got a, a, another Kenworth in here. Okay. And uh, we got a hook lift truck here. And then, of course, we got our sprayer. This this trailer here will actually haul that sprayer. Okay, yep. Yeah. And then all the stuff we need. And then we have our fuel trailer. Yep. But I think that's what I'm going to do today, bring up the rest of the equipment. You... Uh, get you started on plowing if you don't mind i don't know that i trust you in my big rig just yet <laughs> you just bought a ford uh, and you haven't repaired my pickup yet so i don't know that you can afford the cost of a, a big truck just yet <laughs> one step at a time <laughs> exactly <laughs> i was telling my viewers earlier i said you know i don't know that we can trust him in that truck just yet he's gonna have to grow into that because he is that saying where you forget how to talk, you push the wrong buttons, and you run into things. So I don't want you running into things. <laughs> okay, okay. I, yep, yep. I, 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 can, I can feel your pain there. <laughs> uh, we got our seed seed trailer and fertilizer trailers here. Man, this, plows. this is some big equipment compared to what I'm used to. Yeah, well... We took on a big adventure, so. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. A couple of plows, a couple of cultivators. We got some of our forage wagons here. Okay. For silage and whatnot. Yep. Um, over here we got our cedars. I'm thinking about putting another building up here, possibly, so we can get these in and out of the weather. But uh, for right now, there it's where we put them. Yep, works. Um. Got a root crop storage buildings back there. They're empty, so no point in taking you back there. This yeah. one here. We've got our auger wagons in here now. And yep. our small sprayer tractor. Another dutes. Yep. Um Oh, got our harvesters. They came in. Take you over here quick and then uh, I think it's time to get to work. Yeah, yeah, I like the sounds of that. 
You can go grab breakfast before it gets too cold, but. There's our, yep. That is some gorgeous equipment right there. Yeah, got your case. Of course, my John Deere. Yes, sir. I just, well, I just John Deere and a crown. I just can't wait for harvest season now. I want to play with these guys. <laughs> well, we've got a lot of work to do before we get to harvest season. That's a true story. All right. Well, I think I'll make a run up to uh, up to the house, grab some breakfast, and uh, yeah, I think it's time for some field work. Sounds like a plan. You might want to watch your head there before the door comes down and catches Ooh. you. Oh, by the way, you get uh, you get those uh, uh, radios yet? Oh yeah, yeah. I almost forgot about them. They're up here at the shop. Okay. So we'll go grab them quick, and then uh, I'll get in the truck, and we'll start bringing some equipment in. Sounds you can good. go do some plowing. Sounds good, buddy. Yeah, we we have those. Uh, I was able to get um, my local fi my fire department was actually getting rid of them, so I was able to snag two UHF radios. I did a little test, and they seem to work pretty well. You can be on the other end of town and still reach me. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So I believe I laid them here on the workbench. Yeah. Here you go. Where'd Perfect. You go? I'm right here. Behind you. Turn it around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, smarty. There you go. <laughs> All right, thanks, buddy. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to hop in the pickup truck, run over to the house, and uh, time to get to work. All right, sounds good. We'll see you in a bit. Yep. All righty, so we just finished uh, finished eating up some supper there, or some, some breakfast, rather. I don't know why I had supper supper on my mind. But uh, we're going to hop in this here John Deere Gator. And uh, I don't really see the point in driving that big pickup truck around all over the place. Uh, just just in and around the farm, that is. So we'll, we'll take this guy over. And uh, I think we'll be... I, I really want to try out the uh, new dude's fire that we got. And so we'll hook that girl up and... We'll we'll see how she pulls. Um, I'm very, very anxious to be honest with you, and super excited to start getting some work in. All right, we'll just park this thing right here. I think she's a pretty little tractor, though, eh? Pretty but mean. All right. There's no time like the present to get ourselves hooked up, headed towards the field. Now, I believe, if I recall correctly, um, I'm going to be using this here monster. And this dude's fire should have the power. Pull it. All right, so we're hooked up, and I guess it's time to pick a field and just just start rolling with it. Um, we're only a hop, skip, and a jump away from field number eighteen, so why don't we just start there? Well, that is if we can find our way out of this here farm. Um, I am by no means familiar with the territory as of yet. I'm pretty much headed in the exact wrong direction. I think we might have ourselves pointed the right way now. She's definitely a heavy plow. Uh, here she is right here. Now we're going to need to unfold this girl, which is by no means small. So we're going to have to set up our GPS here. Alright, I think we've got our course all set up now. 
Uh, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. This is clearly, clearly the first time um, we've used either of these pieces of equipment. Just clicking her in the four-wheel drive there. I haven't even got that figured out yet. But let's uh, give her a pull and see what happens. Now... She's by no means a uh, speedy horse. Stuck in at uh, a whopping 12 kilometers an hour. You really should be paying attention to what's coming up ahead because, well, as you can see, it's not all on the straight and narrow, so to speak. So the inside of this cab, it's it's really really clean. Um, to be honest, it's 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 white, and somehow I feel like this is not going to stay this way. Um, very well laid out though. Uh, simple to use functions. I'm getting used to it already, but I don't know. We'll we'll try our best to um, keep it in good condition, but you just never know. I'll tell you one thing though, these fields are just big. Compared to what I'm used to, these fields are big. I think with this one pass on this field, we will have surpassed many entire fields uh, from our old streams. So Doughboy's currently taking care of bringing in the remainder of the equipment. Um, and I'm quite anxious to see what other stuff uh, is going to be coming in. Uh, over there on the straight in front of you there. You can see that's a brand new uh, biofuel plant. Um, and we had our investors are also in investing in the biofuel plant. Uh, it just finished being created. So thankfully we were able to convince them that it was in their best interest to let us use it free of charge. <clears throat> uh, they actually agreed with us, so we'll be stocking that up with canola hopefully the end of this year. And before you know it, we'll be making our own diesel fuel. Alright, so we're coming to the edge of the field now. We're actually going to. We're going to turn this girl around. Head her back down the same direction. Oh dear. Thank goodness for that pivot point right in the middle. Now, 
let's see if we can figure out cruise control on this thing. Ooh, she sunk down there a little bit. Just getting started, but she should pull out just fine, I think. Can't help but wonder if locking the rear differential will help a little bit, so we'll do that as well. Uh, plowing clearly takes a tremendous amount of force. As you can see, this field is by no means small. Uh, it's going to take a tremendous amount of time for us to get these fields taken care of. Even with this large equipment, uh, it's going to mean a lot of long hours, uh, long days, full hours. Heck, it'll be some, some long, long into the evening sometimes as well, I'm sure. But it's all work that's got to get done. That's the main thing. Uh, we may end up having to hire some workers, if need be, to help us get all these tasks done. Again, I just do not understand, for the life of me, how the previous farmer uh, made it work. Uh, we did clearly see the boats. How you doing, rubber burner? Well, it's a slow... It's a slow and steady task, my friend. How'd you enjoy breakfast? Um... Uh, it was a little spicy for my liking, but uh, to be honest, it wasn't that bad. It's something a little bit different than what I'm used to. A good deal. Hey, what uh, what field did you decide to start on? Um, I started here on field number 18. I just kind of picked the one closest to the map, or closest to the farm, and went with it, because I by no means... Uh, have this territory uh, memorized yet? Yeah, me neither. Well, I just got back to the farm with the first uh, shipment. I the big M was in, and well, most of our equipment's in actually. Um, I grabbed the big M to get it back here to the farm. Um, not sure uh, how soon do you want the equipment down at the pigs? Because uh, your your balers and stuff are in too, and so are mine. So I'm debating whether I want to. I'm thinking maybe taking a couple deliveries over to the cows uh, since it's a little clo closer to the shop if uh, you're in no rush for your equipment down at the pig farm. I'm definitely not in a huge rush. I have got uh, more than my work's worth cut out for me, I think. Uh, so it's going to be a while before I can really dig my hands in on that, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing for as far as the cows go, but uh, I need to get the equipment out of the shop area, so I think that'll be my plan of attack then. But the Big M's going to be back here. Um, if you want to check it out when you get a chance, I'm putting it in the, the uh, contracting building there with the uh, sprayer. Okay, sounds good, buddy. All right, well, keep at it. Um, I'm going to get a couple more trips done, and uh, maybe later today I'll join you and get some plowing done. Yeah, that's a big 10-4. All right, so we'll set ourselves back down and go for another pass. Um, to, to be honest with you, I kind of kind of forgot. I'm used to video logging with you guys uh, so much that I just kind of jabber on. I kind of completely forgot about these uh, new fancy fangled radios he's he's hooked us up with um, well of course they're not exactly new but they're very well functioning um, he swears by the things um, about your rubber burner you got a copy you got you loud and clear hey just FYI the big M does fit in that shed but uh, don't go pulling a rubber burner and come flying out of it because the clearances are very tight. So uh, just take her easy when you take it in and out. What are you trying to say, buddy? 
I'm trying to say that we only have inches when it's fo folded up between the uh, rotors and the rafters. All right. Well, I appreciate the heads up, man. Well, that time I actually remembered. <laughs> Those things are going to come in very handy, from my understanding. Well, as you guys heard Doughboy say earlier, um, the range on them is quite phenomenal. And that's good, because we, we've got tons of territory to, to work on here. Uh, I think we're getting the ed this edge of the field cleaned up pretty well. Which, uh, to be honest, is a bit of a task. They clearly didn't put a nice straight field for us to work on. Uh, not that we're used to having the straightest fields in the world, but it would be nice. It does appear we'll have to make another pass or, or two uh, down on this, this far clip, but that's not the end of the world. So this Salford uh, plow, it's it's a completely different ball game for me. It's it's the first time I've ever run a uh, towed uh, plow versus a three-point hitch plow. And it's definitely, or a, I should call them a fixed three-point hitch plow. Um, it's definitely a different ball game that's going to take some getting used to for me. I'm sure we'll get the hang of it, but uh, especially making the turns and so on, that's where the, the challenging aspect comes in, getting yourself lined up properly with the next row. It's nice to see the traffic going by up ahead. Um, the town clearly has lots going on, which is a nice change. There you can hear our GPS unit tell us, warn us, or wake us up rather, if we're falling asleep, uh, letting us know that yes, we are getting close to the edge of the field. So now what I'm going to do is try not to aggravate anybody too badly but I am going to run around this way hopefully our neighbors uh, won't be too upset wow he seemed to be in a rush eh So far, this uh, Deuce Fire has really been treating me, oh well, oh, sorry, okay. Um, I don't think I have any major complaints. I don't know if we have a boatload of extra horsepower kicking around for uh, this here plow. But, you know, the type of territory that we have, I think we should be all right. Uh, this isn't the steepest territory, and the ground, for the most part, seems to be uh, pretty, uh, well, it's not soupy, we could just say that, which is a big plus. So, just cleaning up the last little bits here. And uh, we'll head her back up the field again. Plowing can be a bit of a monotonous task at times. There's no denying that. Uh, it's also one of the most important tasks, though. You really need to get those nutrients set deep into the ground. Might end up scratching our new dude's fire here. But, uh, oh dear. Oh dear. 
We may have done a little bit more than scratch it. Uh, I think it's safe to say we may have just put a nice dent in the roof. Uh, I'm not too sure that Doughboy's gonna have as much laughter over that, but maybe maybe he just won't notice. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. Alright, I think we're getting a little bit closer to being in the clear here. In fact, we'll lock our GPS in. Now, I had to reset my GPS course there. We, we were, we did seem to be missing a wee little stretch but I think we've got it straightened out now we should be on the up and up might even still be missing just a wee little bit but I mean it's all got to be cultivated anyways so that's not the end of the world I don't think Should make sure we got no traffic coming. Yep, we're good to go. And yeah, we'll stop there. Lift her up and make ourselves another U turn. Oh, would you look at that? I just finally figured out how to uh, how to get the radio working on this thing. Uh, everything else, like I said, has been pretty simple, but for some reason, the radio was just baffling me. We should go in now, and we're rocking out to some tunes. that'll pretty much do it here now I don't want to start in the middle of a pass so we're pretty much where we missed that stuff before so I might as well I'm thinking whip it around clean that little bit up This time we actually got lots of traffic to contend with. By lots of traffic, I mean a whopping one vehicle. Passes us by, so we'll uh, whip it around and do it all over again. I think this might actually be our first full pass going the opposing direction. Here, a uh, plane flying over now. Um, we we're told there is quite a bit of air traffic uh, in the general vicinity, as well as towards the northern part of the map. Now, we're going to need to reset our GPS once again. There, we got our GPS set up, and I'm thinking it might be time to. Uh, Get a hold of Mr. Doughboy. We're coming close to uh, lunchtime now. Uh, pretty much my favorite time of the day. So let's get him on the old radio and see what he's got to say. Doughboy, you got your ears on? Yeah, go ahead. So I'm just uh, sitting here looking at the clock, thinking, gee, she's getting close to some uh, grub time, eh? I was just thinking the same thing. I just brought the second load down here to the cow farm, brought the uh, John Deere wheel loader down, and I was just telling uh, 
telling myself, I think, uh, hook the trailer back up and maybe come up and see how you're making out on the field and see if you were ready for some lunch. Yeah, well, I've got, uh, oh, three quarters of a pass here left, uh, and I'm headed straight to the farm. I was thinking uh, just shut her down there and, and uh, walk back up and meet up with you. Sounds like a plan. I'm uh, hooking up the uh, low boy now and heading back up to the farm. Perfect. Um, we'll see you in a minute. Well, that's got me excited. Though I did grab the uh, leftovers that he put out for me. I'm not 100% sure what's actually in the fridge. Because to be honest, I didn't even open it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to some uh, steaks. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. Steaks are calling my name right now. But we still got to finish this here pass first, which these passes, well, they just seem to take forever. Well, I clearly still haven't gotten the uh, GPS 100% figured out on this tractor. I, uh, <laughs> that's twice now. I've been driving along and I just managed to lock everything up. Tractor pretty much comes to a halt and uh, I almost actually stalled it there. So I might have to break out the owner's manual when I get back to the farm. Maybe uh, maybe calling the dealership would be a better idea because I, I am quite certain that the owner's manual for this thing is probably about uh, 1,000 pages. And me and reading don't really get along too well. I've never been the best at that. I'm more of a sit in front of the TV and watch a movie. Um, and heck, if I can get this GPS working properly, well then, uh, maybe I could bring a little DVD player inside the cab and the boy doesn't have to know. We can just sit around and watch some Dukes of Hazard all day long. Okay, so finally coming up on the edge of the field here. Uh, seems like we've been at this forever and haven't got a thing done yet. Uh, this is going... This is going to be a big task. Uh, getting all these fields taken care of. I'm sure we're up to it. But nonetheless, it's going to be a lot of work. So rather than drive this thing all the way in... Um, big piece of equipment to try to maneuver around the farm. I figure we'll just, we'll take a little run. Um, Lord knows I could probably use a little run. Actually, that being said, uh, maybe I could use a little run, but I'm also fat, so I'm going to jump in this guy. Hopefully we can meet up with Doughboy over at the house. All right, well, I'm going to jump in the house and uh, see what he's got for grub going on. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch back with you guys in a bit. Well, I see you can't keep it out of the bush. You parked your plow right in the middle of the bush. It's a big piece of equipment. It's meant to take out bushes like that. <laughs> All right. Where are you at? I'm heading back. I grabbed the gator to come over to see where you're at. but um, I uh, just uh, hopped out of the house, actually. I've got steaks in my hand. I'm looking at the barbecue thinking that might be the perfect option for us. It's a pretty big lunch, but that'll work for me. I didn't even look at the top. Well, she pretty much do time right on the dot. Oh, well, that works for me. We can do steaks. 
and get us a, a good bit and maybe ready for a nap afterwards. But we'll do steaks and then we can uh, get back to doing some work. Well, naps don't bother me any. I've got a uh, GPS in my tractor. I'll be honest, I'm still trying to figure it out. It uh, fought with me a couple times on that there field, but uh, I, I'll, I'll have it figured out if I feel naps coming on. <laughs> I bet you will. I have GPS too, but that doesn't drive my track, my truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to uh, figure out what's going on if you want me to continue hauling equipment. or if, uh, I, I just, I was telling... I was talking to myself back there in the truck a little bit. I was thinking, you know, you got to get this equipment out of here. But, man, we've got a lot of fields that need plowed, too. So we're going to have to – why don't we get the stakes going, sit down, and come up with a game plan here, how we're going to move forward and keep keep up with all this work. And uh, let's go with that. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me, man. All right, guys. Well, you just saw the first episode of the uh, Parallel Let's Play series on – county line uh, i'd like to say out to my viewers thank you for uh, all your support throughout this and through my time away i appreciate you hanging out uh, i hope you enjoy this um obviously you saw what i was doing now if you want to see what rubber burner was doing you're gonna have to jump over there and subscribe to his channel and follow the series and get to see it from his perspective uh, but this is what it's going to be uh, we're excited i want to move forward with this so I just want to say, guys, thanks again. Be kind to each other. Happy farming to you all. God bless. Um, I just want to throw a couple more things in there. Don't forget to check out pc-sg.uk. Um, check out 3Dudes Gaming. Uh, we've got uh, links in the uh, description down below for each other's channels, as well as some other top YouTubers. Um don't forget to check out uh, our social media accounts. I know Doughboy has Facebook. I have Facebook and Twitter. Uh, again, links in the description below. I think that pretty much does it for me, except for thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I can't wait to do this again. And until next time, we'll see ya. Bye-bye.